Hello and welcome to our channel, where we explore the mysteries of the universe and the unknown. Today, we will delve into a topic that might surprise you. Did you know that Einstein believed in ghosts? Yes, you heard that right. The renowned physicist, who is known for his contributions to science, also had an interest in the supernatural. In this video, we will explore the evidence that suggests Einstein believed in ghosts and what his views were on the topic. Part 1. Einstein's interest in the supernatural. Albert Einstein was known for his curious mind and his willingness to explore the unknown. He was fascinated by a wide range of subjects, including physics, mathematics, philosophy, and even the supernatural. It is believed that he had a keen interest in paranormal phenomena, such as telepathy, clairvoyance, and ghosts. Einstein once said, I do not believe in the immortality of the individual, and I consider ethics to be an exclusively human concern with no superhuman authority behind it. This statement suggests that he was open to the idea of the supernatural and the possibility of an afterlife. Einstein's interest in the supernatural wasn't just a passing curiosity. In fact, he engaged in conversations about these topics with his colleagues and friends. One such example is his correspondence with a Dutch physicist, Hendrik Lorentz. In a letter dated November 1917, Einstein wrote to Lorentz about his views on telepathy and the paranormal. In the letter, Einstein expressed his skepticism about the validity of telepathy and other paranormal phenomena. He wrote, I must confess that I am not at all convinced of the reality of telepathy, and I regard the scientific evidence for its existence as being, so far, not at all satisfactory. However, he also acknowledged that the possibility of telepathy couldn't be entirely dismissed, stating that, it is of course conceivable that something of this sort may occur under certain unknown conditions. Einstein's views on the paranormal were not limited to telepathy. He also had an interest in spiritualism, which was a popular movement in the early 20th century that focused on communicating with the dead. He attended seances, where mediums claimed to communicate with spirits, and even invited a psychic to his home to investigate supernatural occurrences. Part 2. Einstein's Scientific Method and the Supernatural. It is important to note that Einstein's interest in the supernatural did not contradict his scientific method. Einstein believed in the power of science to explain the natural world, and he always relied on evidence-based reasoning. However, he also acknowledged that science had its limitations and that there were phenomena that could not be explained by traditional scientific methods. Einstein believed that science should be open to new ideas and approaches, even if they seemed unconventional or went against traditional scientific thinking. He once said, No amount of experimentation can ever prove me right. A single experiment can prove me wrong. This statement highlights Einstein's willingness to challenge conventional thinking and his openness to new ideas and perspectives. Part 2. Einstein's Encounter with a Ghost. There is a story that has been circulating for years about Einstein's encounter with a ghost. It is said that when Einstein was a young boy, he saw a ghostly figure in his room one night. The figure was transparent, and it floated through the air before disappearing into thin air. This experience stayed with Einstein throughout his life, and he reportedly believed that there was more to the world than what we can see with our eyes. Despite his skepticism about the paranormal, there is one particular incident that is often cited as evidence that Einstein may have had an encounter with a ghost. This incident took place when Einstein was a young boy living in Munich. According to reports, Einstein's family had just moved into a new apartment when strange occurrences began to happen. The family would hear footsteps in the hallway, doors would open and close on their own, and objects would move without explanation. Einstein's mother attributed these occurrences to a ghost, and she asked her son to investigate. Einstein was determined to find a logical explanation for the strange events. He spent hours observing the movements of objects and carefully examining the layout of the apartment. Finally, he discovered that there was a hidden door in the wall that led to a storage room. This room was the source of the strange occurrences, as objects stored inside would shift due to changes in temperature and air pressure. While this incident is often cited as evidence that Einstein had an encounter with a ghost, it is important to note that Einstein himself did not attribute the strange events to supernatural causes. Instead, he used his scientific knowledge and observation skills to find a logical explanation for the phenomenon. Einstein's approach to investigating the supernatural is a testament to his scientific method and his belief in evidence-based reasoning. Even when faced with strange occurrences that could be attributed to supernatural causes, Einstein remained skeptical and relied on his scientific knowledge to find a logical explanation. Part 3. Einstein's views on the supernatural. Einstein's interest in the supernatural was a complex topic, and his views on the subject evolved throughout his life. While he was skeptical of many paranormal phenomena, he also acknowledged that there were mysteries of the universe that could not be easily explained by traditional scientific methods. 
One example of this is Einstein's views on the concept of a higher power. While he was not religious in the traditional sense, he did believe in the existence of a higher power that could not be fully understood by human beings. He once said, Science without religion is lame, religion without science is blind. Einstein's views on the supernatural were not limited to the concept of a higher power. He also had an interest in the paranormal, including telepathy and spiritualism. However, he remained skeptical of these phenomena and always relied on evidence-based reasoning. Despite his skepticism, Einstein believed that the supernatural was a subject worthy of investigation. He once wrote, The most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art and all science. He to whom this emotion is a stranger, who can no longer pause to wonder and stand wrapped in awe, is as good as dead. His eyes are closed. Einstein's curiosity about the supernatural highlights his willingness to challenge conventional thinking and explore the unknown. While he always relied on evidence-based reasoning, he recognized the importance of remaining open-minded and curious about the mysteries of the universe. Part 4. Einstein's Legacy and the Supernatural. Einstein's legacy continues to influence the way we think about the supernatural and the unknown. His belief in evidence-based reasoning and his willingness to challenge conventional thinking has inspired generations of scientists and thinkers to approach the unknown with curiosity and skepticism. One example of Einstein's continued influence is his concept of spooky action at a distance, also known as quantum entanglement. This phenomenon describes the mysterious connection between particles that can exist over vast distances, seemingly defying the laws of physics. Einstein famously referred to this as spooky action at a distance, and his skepticism of this phenomenon has led to ongoing scientific investigations into the mysteries of quantum mechanics. Another example of Einstein's influence on the supernatural is his interest in the concept of time travel. While he recognized the potential for paradoxes and complications in the concept, he also acknowledged that it was a fascinating subject worthy of investigation. Einstein's legacy has also inspired a new generation of scientists to approach the supernatural with a sense of wonder and curiosity. While many paranormal phenomena remain unexplained, scientists continue to explore the mysteries of the universe with a commitment to evidence-based reasoning and a willingness to challenge conventional thinking. Part 5. Conclusion. In conclusion, Einstein's belief in ghosts may surprise many people, but it is just one example of his broad range of interests and his willingness to explore the unknown. His legacy has had a lasting impact on the world of science, and his interest in the supernatural challenges is to remain open-minded and curious about the world around us. We hope that you have enjoyed this video and that it has sparked your curiosity about the supernatural and the unknown. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this.